Whether massive or minuscule, every change begins with a single action. While the results of the transformation of the Virginia football program over the last nine months won't be immediately known, it's far easier to gauge gains on a smaller scale. UVA enters 2016 with a new look defense, the 3-4. Crucial to its success is the nose tackle, the tip of the spear, the apex, the number one, Dante Wilkins. This whole scheme is just, it's just a beautiful new thing. I played a little bit of it in high school, you know, so I wasn't, it was nothing like this though. It kind of fits my body type, you know. I'm not, I'm not as tall, but I'm bigger. It's just a savage mentality you gotta have when you're on that defensive line. Most of the time, I'm gonna get the double team. Sometimes I'm gonna get the triple team. Stop the run, and that's, that's, that's what we do first, is stop the run. Uh, no blade of grass. He wants the ball to come through our gap, and we spit it out the other side. We get points. If they gain one yard, they, they win a point. It's beautiful how we, how we preach it, how we tell it to us, and we gotta get it done. To reflect Bronco Mendenhall's vision for the position, Wilkins recognized a need to raise his level of play, the foundation of which would be honed during a grueling off-season campaign. The results were staggering, even to the senior captain. It's a different game in the trenches when you, you know, from high school, that's just being bigger than everybody. And then when you get to, you get to college, you got, you got to go against other people who are just as big or bigger. You know, in my case, coming in here, it's going against Morgan Moses, Luke Buenko, straight off the bat. We had to grow up kind of quickly. Coach Mendehall told me in the spring, he wanted me to gain weight. That's what I did, I came in the, over the whole summer. Jacked up in weight and dropped my body fat down. So like two, three weeks before uh, camp started, doing bench press. My old max was like 405. We go by kilos, so it was probably like 418, 419, something like that. And I wasn't really paying attention and did it three. And he said, keep going if you can, and did, and did eight. Like, that was my old max. It's been good to just buy in and just give, give it our all. Armed with the motivation and physicality to play nose, he joined with Ruffin McNeil to complete his personal and defensive transition, becoming a respected task unit leader and team captain. Coach Ruff, he's becoming one of my like best friends, but importantly, he's one of my favorite coaches. And I see myself in him. He sees what we can do. He knows what we have to get through. He's on us hard. He can joke and laugh with us, but when it comes down to it, he means business. He's not for anything soft. He coaches defensive line for a reason. He's a tough guy, and that's what we need. Kids don't care how much you know to you, they know how much you care. And I, I believe in, in tough love. They know I would challenge them, but it's not without telling them expectations. Here's what we expect. Here's what I expect individually and out of, out from my group. Here's the effort we want. Here's the discipline we want. Here's the fundamentals we want. And then they understand expectations. Taking a player or a person to a place he can't go to by himself is how I define coaching. I will ask them very nicely to do things, and then they know I'll ask them very, 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 very nicely to do things. I love them so much, and I want them to be so successful and go to that place that they can't go by themselves. They know I have to be demanding, too, as well. I call Dante the alpha nose. He's the alpha dog in my group. He's the one that if something goes wrong, I'm going straight to Dante. And it could be in a one-on-one -on -one conversation, it could be in a very intense conversation, but, but Dante understands the expectation because I've explained that to him. It's his way, you know, his way is hard and through, not around. And that's what, that's what we need as a team to get to the next level. Because a lot of people don't know where their potential is. I feel like I was one of those guys who knew where I had to be to be a better player, you know, to get noticed as a defense, as a top defensive lineman. It's been fun, it's been hard, you know, every day is hard, but it's been fun to see where we can go.